Nine. Bernardo Pantaleon's body was found on a trail at Mountain View Park last weekend. Records indicate he may have been targeted because he was part of the LGBT community. 12 News journalist Bianca Bono is live outside of the Phoenix Police Department. And Bianca, how did police catch them? Guys, Pantaleon was shot multiple times and then his body was mutilated. And we're learning the suspects allegedly took photos of what they did, then sent those images to the victim's family on social media. It's honestly just horrific. New details emerging about what happened to Bernardo Pantaleon, the 30-year-old whose body was found at Mountain View Park, and loved ones are having a hard time processing what happened. That's hard to comprehend, especially the nature of the crime. Now three suspects are in custody. Police records say on November 25th, 21-year-old Leonardo Santiago shot Pantaleon multiple times. Then police say Jose Rodriguez and Manuel Carrasco Calderon went back to the scene of the crime with Santiago and mutilated Pantaleon's body, taking photos and videos of their crimes and later sending them to the victim's family on social media. It was definitely a brutal attack. Loved ones believe Pantaleon was targeted because he was gay. In records show following the murder, the suspects made derogatory remarks about his sexuality. Police say they're still investigating the motive. Those are things that are definitely our detectives have in mind as they're going through. Hopefully we're, we're going to get that information through the completion of this investigation. Mm -hmm. Records show police found evidence of the suspects celebrating Pantaleon's death and their plans to do it again. Subjects discussing who would be the next person to commit the same type of offense, i.e. homicide. Police say the suspects are involved in a known criminal street gang and all three are now being held on cash only bonds ranging from $500,000 to 2 million. Almost kind of blows the mind kind of what's been alleged in this matter. Pantaleon's family and friends relieved those alleged to be responsible are now behind bars. You know, I'm glad that nobody else has to suffer. Sadly, my friend did, you know, um, I'm just glad that, you know, the individuals were caught when they were caught and nobody else can fall victim to anything. And a GoFundMe page has been set up to help Pantaleon's family. They're also going to be holding a fundraiser on Sunday at Charlie's in Phoenix at 10 a.m. You can find all of that information on our website, 12news.com. For now, we're live in Phoenix. Bianca Bono, 12 News.